Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about the microbial nutrition in which we are going to deal with some small topics like photoautotrophs, photoheterotrophs, chemoautotrophs and chemoheterotrophs. So this topic we have taken from the unit of microbiology and this topic will be beneficial for all the students who are preparing for the gate life science, net, bark, icmr and many more examinations. Now the main question is that that why we are studying this topic because this is all about the microbial nutrition that means from what different source the microbes are supposed to get its nutrients whether it is a carbon source energy source or different type of sources so according to the definition microorganisms need or obtain different carbon and energy source for growth and development so this nutrition is going to help in the growth and development of microorganisms and that is why they need this source in larger amount just like the plant and animals microbes also need different kind of uh, condition for their proper growth and development and one of the most important condition is the requirement of carbon and energy source so depending upon the sources of carbon and energy we used to categorize microorganisms on the four category first is the photoautotrophs second photoheterotrophs third chemoheterotrophs and fourth that is chemoautotrophs so first we are going to talk about the carbon source so if a organism is capable to take carbon from organic source at that time we used to call that animal or microorganisms as a heterotrophs so heterotrophs are capable to fulfill their carbon need with the help of organic sources and if a microorganism is fulfilling its carbon need with the help of environmental carbon dioxide at that time we will call that animal or microorganism as a autotrophs so as we know that plant are autotrophs because they are self capable to prepare their food by using carbon dioxide and they used to convert that carbon dioxide into glucose in the process of photosynthesis so in this way we have seen that how the autotrophs are going to utilize carbon dioxide as their carbon source so in this way we can say that if it is a if it is about the carbon source so if a microorganism is fulfilling its carbon need with the help of organic source at that time we call that microorganism as a heterotrophs and if any microorganisms is fulfilling its carbon need with the help of environmental carbon dioxide at that time we will call that microorganism as a autotrophs now let's talk about the energy source so depending upon the energy source we have again categorized microorganisms on the two bases first is the phototrophs and second is the chemotrophs so phototrophs are those microorganisms which used to get its energy from sunlight okay and the microorganisms which used to take its energy from inorganic chemical that will be regarded as chemotrophs so phototrophs are capable to take its energy from sunlight and chemotrophs are capable to take its energy from in inorganic chemicals okay so in this way we have got the total two category of microorganisms first is the phototrophs and second is the chemotrophs on the basis of all this classification that is depending upon carbon and energy source we have categorized microorganisms into total four groups first is the photoautotrophs second photoheterotrophs third chemoheterotrophs and fourth that is chemoautotrophs so first we are going to start with photoautotrophs so photoautotrophs is made up of total two words that is phototrophs and autotrophs so we have to combine the property of these two category of microorganisms and that is represented here with the help of one cartoon that is first cartoon is there in uh, like just beside the autotrophs and second is the phototrophs so autotrophs or sorry photoautotrophs are those organisms which used to get energy from sunlight and carbon from environmental carbon dioxide they will be regarded as photoautotrophs so we have to combine the concept of total two category of microorganisms first is the autotrophic and second is the phototrophic microorganisms so in this way the photoautotrophs are those microorganisms which used to get its carbon need fulfilled with the help of a environmental carbon dioxide and energy needs get fulfilled with the help of a sunlight they will be regarded as photoautotrophs and the best example for photoautotrophs are plant in case of eukaryotic system then algae and cyanobacteria and there are many more examples of photoautotrophs now let's talk about the photoheterotrophs 
so this photo heterotrops word has been made with the help of phototrops and heterotrops so we have to combine the concept of phototrops and heterotrops so the photo heterotrops are those microorganisms which used to get its energy from sunlight and carbon from organic source and the best example for photo heterotrops are the purple and green non sulfur bacteria so for defining this photo heterotrops we have combined the concept of total two category of microorganism first was phototrops and second was heterotrops and in this way very easily we have got the proper definition of photo heterotrops and in the definition also it has been mentioned that these microorganisms or organisms get energy from sunlight and carbon from organic sources now the third category is the chemo autotrophs so again we have to combine the concept of two category of microorganism first is the chemotrophs and second is the autotrophs so the chemo autotrophs are those microorganisms which used to get its energy from inorganic chemical source and carbon from environmental carbon dioxide so that is what it has been mentioned here that these organisms getting energy from inorganic chemical and carbon from environmental carbon dioxide they will be regarded as chemo autotrophs and the best example for chemo autotrophs are extremophiles and methanogens the last category is of chemo heterotrophs so again we have to combine the concept of two different category of microorganisms first is the chemotrophs and second is the heterotrophs so by combining the concept of these two category we are going to get a proper definition of chemo heterotrophs that is the chemo heterotrophs are those kind of microorganisms which used to get its energy from inorganic chemicals and they used to fulfill its carbon need with the help of organic sources and the best example will include humans and animal kingdom so depending upon the nutrition mode of different organisms whether it is a plant whether it is a animal or whether it is a microorganisms according to that you have to decide the category okay and like according to that only you have to remember the different examples also like here we have taken the example of eukaryotic system that is the human and animals but although we are studying the nutrition mode of microorganisms so you also have to remember that what kind of microorganisms like they, they are supposed to include in chemo heterotrophs or chemo autotrophs or photo autotrophs or it may be photo heterotrophs so you have to remember at least 3 to 4 examples from each category now let's talk about one question that has been came in gate 2017 so the question is match the term given in group 1 with the description from the group 2 so they have mentioned all the different type of nutrition mode of microorganism that is in group 1 and description has been provided in group 2 so according to that you have to do a match the following so in p it has been mentioned that the photo autotrophs and from the table which i have provided here from there you can see that the definition of photo autotrophs will be the organisms which used to like which used to take energy from sunlight and they used to take or like fulfill its carbon requirement with the help of environmental co2 so according to that the p is going to match with the third option of group 2 that is it use uh, like use of sunlight as a energy source and carbon dioxide as a carbon source so p is going to match with the third option second uh, like q is the chemo autotrophs so the definition of chemo autotrophs is that they used to fulfill its energy requirement with the help of inorganic chemical and the carbon requirement will be fulfilled with the help of a environmental carbon dioxide so if you see the first option of group 2 so the q is going to match with the first option okay that that means it used uh, it is going to use the inorganic chemical reaction for the energy production the r is representing the photo heterotrophs and the definition of photo heterotrophs is that they used to fulfill its energy requirement with the help of sunlight and they are going to use organic organic sources for its carbon fulfillment so in this way the r is going to match with the fourth option that is use of sunlight as a energy source and organic compound as a carbon source so by solving this three option only we can able to pick the correct option for this question that is the option number b so now we are left with only s that is the chemo heterotrophs so s is going to match with the second option of group 2 that is use of organic compounds for the energy production so in this way we came to the conclusion that the b option is the correct option for this question 
सो दिस क्वेश्चन वॉज वेरी ईजी एज वेल एज दिस वॉज टोटली अ डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन इट माइट कम्स लाइक दे विल गिव यू अ नेम ऑफ एनी सर्टन काइंड ऑफ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स एंड देन दे विल आस्क यू दैट वॉट काइंड ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन मोड इज सपोज टू बी फॉलोड बाई दिस पर्टिकुलर ऑर्गेनिज्म सो दैट इज वाई आई हैव टोल्ड यू दैट ट्राई टू रिमेंबर एटलीस्ट थ्री कॉमन और फेमस एग्जाम्पल्स फ्रॉम ईच कैटेगरी आई होप दिस वीडियो वॉज हेल्पफुल फॉर यू इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो देन गिव इट अ थम्स अप एंड मेक श्योर टू सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल फॉर गेटिंग मोर डिफरेंट वीडियोज ऑन सी एस आई नेट एंड डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ एग्जामिनेशन Thank you so much for watching this video.